Hello, this is FTN John, and today I'm going to show you how to set the FOSCAM FI8918W wireless IP camera. This is a really cool device because all you need is the power source. And as long as you have a wireless router, you can view this camera from basically with anywhere within range of your wireless router. It's a really cool feature. First thing you have to do is, of course, make sure that the antenna is plugged in all the way. You're going to need the power cable, the Ethernet cable, which is supplied to you, and the software, which we'll be using very shortly here. Right now, I'm just going to go ahead and get this all plugged in for you. plug that in for the power. It'll might, you might notice that all of a sudden it'll start moving. This is completely normal and it's like a diagnostic uh, routine that the camera goes through. Next, we're going to have to plug in the Ethernet cord straight to your wireless router. This is just for the initial setup. And then we're going to plug this into the back of our router here. Yes, sorry about the all of a sudden change of camera angle. I need both hands in order to do this. I had to prop up, prop up my tripod for just a sec. There we go, all plugged in. Make sure that's all the way plugged in. You got the network light on. And now we're going to need you to go to your laptop or desktop on, that's connected to your wireless router. And we're going to install the FOSCAM software. I just put it in the disk. Any second now it's going to pop up. You're going to want to open it up to see the files. You're going to want to go to, if you have Windows operating system, this is what we're basing it off of. Go to for Windows op OS, IP camera tool, and IP camera uh, setup. You're going to approve that. And you're going to install it. It's nothing special. Just basically hit next. On this part, I click no because you don't really need to restart. Um, you can go ahead and close both those windows that popped up. And the main part is here on your desktop, you should see an IP camera tool. If you double click that, it will show you the IP address of any of the FOSCAM cameras if they're available. Double click it, and it should open it up in your web browser, which makes it a lot easier to figure out. You're going to want to click login. The default username is admin, nothing special there and hit login. We're going to go to device manager and we're going to go ahead and we're going to change the alias name, the camera name, to cam1. And then after that hit submit and we're going to go to user settings. This is highly recommended to at least put a password on your administrative account. Um, has other options there for groups, but pretty much just for the administrative group, put a password. I put one, two, three, four, five. Um, preferably something a lot harder. And then I'll ask you again once you hit submit, admin is the username, and then in my case, one, two, three, four, five was the password. You have to wait till the camera re reboots, which takes approximately 30 seconds. And alrighty. And this part, this is all a few of the basic network settings. You can change the port number, or if the network light in the back of the camera if you want to turn that off. Go to wireless LAN settings, and you're going to want to click scan. It didn't work for me on the first try, maybe because I'm using Firefox. 
But I clicked it again and it did pop up. And I clicked it. And give it a few seconds. And then look for your wireless router. Because this is all the wireless routers in your area that the camera can see. You're going to want to pick yours. I know my router uses WPA2. Usually it gets it right on the first try with the uh, encryption setting. Usually you don't have to change that. And then um, put your wireless router password in for the share key. And once again, reboot. Now go back to your camera and you are going to unplug the Ethernet. And now your wireless FOSS cam is now set up and ready to go. Go back to your computer after you put your camera in a suitable place. Use the IP tool again, app on your desktop, and it will pop up with a new IP address. You're going to want to log in and then hit live video. And there you go. Good job. And thank you for watching.